Hey squad, I want to talk about a really good strategy that we've been utilizing, I don't know, for a while now, actually. Um, particularly, you know, we all want to target people who are in market and you want to get that search traffic that is, you know, not going, you're not essentially always bidding at the same level um, if you are directly on the Google Ads platform you know, you know, doing search. So, you know, someone does a Google search, you know, typically you're going to be paying anywhere from a dollar all the way upwards to a hundred, two hundred dollars per click, right? And what we're all trying to do is how do I get to the same user and pay less for that user? If I know the person is in market, maybe I don't have to get after them directly through Google search. Maybe I can target them through Google Display Network. Um, for those who don't know, you know, the agency that we run at Propella Media, we actually do a lot of what's called geofencing marketing. So you can target people in very precise areas. Like if you're a car dealership, you can target people that are going to like 10 or 20 other car dealerships with that finite level of targeting. And so reaching people who are in market is sort of the name of the game. And sometimes it's not enough just to do just traditional Google search. It's also not enough to just do traditional Facebook ads. Sometimes you got to find other tactics that still gets to that same user effectively. And, you know, there's a couple things I just wanted to mention um, outside of me telling everybody the one strategy that everybody out there should be doing um, if you're running, if you're trying to get, you know, pay less. And I will say, like, you're we're talking about at least one tenth the cost of a traditional um, um you know, Google ads uh, search, you know, cost per click effectively. The first is if you are trying to lower your costs on the Google search platform, meaning people that are in market looking to do, you know, looking for your products and services directly on the Google search network itself. One thing that you should absolutely do is consider creating a campaign and using a maximized click strategy and then just capping your your uh, cost per click at, you know, let's say five bucks or, you know, 10 bucks, whatever it may be. There, there's a couple of ways to skin that cat, um, but it's it's a really powerful strategy. Um, it's something that, you know, we'll do from time to time if we're just trying to lower our cost, but get as much as we possibly can, you know, out of such a campaign. You will notice that, you know, it's tough to sustain that if you have a vast budget um, because your click-through rates do go down. So that's one thing. Um, also, the second thing that we do here in our agency is we have um, we have a number of different programmatic ad exchanges where, you know, we can actually serve as the people based on their search history. So let's say you did a search for spray foam insulation and we want to target you wherever you go, any other platform, whether it's, you know, other websites, other mobile apps. Basically, a lot of the ad exchanges is taking a timestamp of you as an individual, you're performing that search. And we are then serving ads to you wherever you go around the internet. For any other sophisticated marketers that are out there, having that sort of, uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd say making that part of your omni-channel advertising strategy is absolutely paramount. So, you know, we always recommend that. That's another tactic that we do within the programmatic advertising bucket. But for the sake of this conversation, this is the one strategy I just want to show everybody real quick. So... Those who know Google Display Network, I, I think over the last few years, they have gotten a lot better with improving the quality of their targeting, as well as the quality of the data and your ability to reach individuals who you know are in market, whether they're going through a life event or individuals that have done a search in some capacity. And so a lot of times when we're launching a new campaign, you know, we may have like a branded campaign, we may have a traditional search campaign, we may have a, a site retargeting campaign. Um, through our many different programmatic ad exchanges, as well as Google Display Network. And we'll do what's called an in-market search audience. And so if you go to your audience tab and you go to edit, you'll see that you got all these different options from a targeting perspective, all these different options, all these different categories. But I don't want you to go here. I don't want you to go to any of these locations. Instead, I want you to go to browse, go to your custom audience segments, just give it a second to pop up and I want you to create a custom segment. You can call this spray foam insulation. Uh, let's see here. It's taking a little bit of time to load probably cause I'm sharing my screen. There we go. 
uh, in market audience. Now you have two options. You can do people with any of these interests or purchase intentions or people who searched for any of these terms. And then if you see here, only on campaigns running on Google properties, on other campaigns, terms will be used as interests or purchase intentions. I want you to click people who search for. And let's say we did spray foam insulation. This is one term. Let's give it a second. Let's take a little bit of time. All right, perfect. We'll add that one. They give you some other options that are available. Um, and so that gives you, it gives you some projections, which is nice as well. Um, so like, let's say we decided that we wanted to do uh, spray foam insulation near me. I mean, the sky really is the limit with all the different terms that you can go after. These projections are nice. Of course, note that we're not going to be targeting for a spray foam insulation company the entire United States. Maybe you want this to be relegated to you know a particular area. I, don't worry about this. This is really just to give you some, some guidance on extrapolation rather than, oh, we need exact numbers for just you know Atlanta, Georgia, or Charlotte. Don't worry about that. Take your top performing keywords from your search campaigns, plug them in here, hit save, and now you're going to be able to target individuals that have actually did that actually did a search on Google. So anybody who did a search on Google for these keywords, you can now reach those individuals on the display network. Um, it's just like keyword contextual uh, search retargeting, um, but you are reaching individuals that did those searches but you're reaching them across the display network, the Google display network and other properties that they own. And the cost per clicks in our experience, it's like one tenth the price. It's really inexpensive. Um, and when you set up a, a conversion strategy, like a maximized conversion strategy or a CPA bit strategy, it becomes even more powerful. So for all of your campaigns, always have conversion tracking set up. I want to put you in a much better space when it comes to how much money you should allocate to this sort of campaign. If you let's say you have a ten thousand dollar a month uh, budget for search, I'm not suggesting you take the half of that and then move it over to this. Instead, maybe you take about five percent, maybe ten percent of that budget, and then you move a little bit of that over to see how this performs. You start playing around with the audience. I think, as you all know, within the search world, it's all about testing, experiments, testing seeing how the cost per action is, getting a sense of the quality of the leads if you're using UTM parameters as passing through to your CRM database, or if you're doing call tracking in some capacity. But keep testing. And I'm telling you, the, the cost per actions on this is really, really insane. Really, really good strategy that we've tested out. Um, that's worked out pretty well for many of our clients. Um, so again, go into your audiences, start typing in those keywords that you know are producing conversions for you. Um, and then I think you'll see some good fruit. And even for those that, you know, that just want to focus on more of a brand awareness play or folks that are, you know, more from a consideration, not just traditionally in market, this is still a really, really good strategy to deploy, um, and give you some air cover on top of your search campaign. So hope this was helpful, everyone. Thanks for taking the time. Greatly appreciate it. Talk soon.